it's a waterproof that feels absolutely nothing like a normal waterproof. And as far as I'm concerned, that's a very good thing indeed. My name's Guy Kesteven. I've been a professional biking kit tester for nearly 25 years. And this is Giro's Chrono Pro Neo Shell Jacket. Or Neo Shell Chrono Pro. Something like that anyway. But uh, I've obviously just uh, done an unboxing on this, so apologies for uh, doubling up if you watched that already. But my mate Russ was watching it and he said, it'd be good to see you actually riding it to get an idea of how it fits. So here I am actually riding it. And I have to say, uh, as you can see, it's kind of a medium fit. It's, uh, it's good actually. I'm currently getting a lot of uh, medium clothes that are just way too big on me. Either I'm shrinking or medium's getting bigger. But you can see, Decent cuff length there. Cowl's just over the back of the glove. You know, no gap when I flex it out there and that's full stretch. So that fits well. You've got that really nice stand-up collar there with the reflective detailing. And that has a bit of bagginess over the belly, the old 70s tracksuit effect, but not much considering. And it certainly doesn't, there's enough stiffness in the fabric that it doesn't fl and there enough weight in it that it doesn't flap and kind of flail around with the wind. So while it's not super hugging like a gabba or anything like that, it's definitely not flapping around either. So I'm probably not losing too many watts. Cheers. And near shell, ruddy love it as a fabric. Uh, waterproof, impressively waterproof actually. Doesn't look like it when you first start riding it because it beads for a bit on the DWR coating and then starts soaking through and wetting out. But the big bonus with it is it's kind of breathing all the time. It doesn't need a uh, temperature imbalance or a temperature pressure from the inside to start shifting that heat and moisture vapour out. So you don't get that build up of, oh my God, I've worn too heavy a jacket in that sort of first half an hour ride on a first climb. It just regulates your riding temperature really, really well. So although it sounds weird saying it's actually a cooler jacket than you might think it is, most people tend to wear too many layers so it actually works brilliant it kind of self compensates and it just creates a really really natural kind of balance of warmth and comfort because you can't expect to stay totally dry certainly in mixed conditions but this just does a really really good job the only thing i would say is that Although, you know, Chrono Pro Neo Shell sounds proper roady, the only pocket you've got is this chest pocket here. So there's no rear pockets. Which I think, you know, for something that sounds so roady, is a bit of a fail really. But for mountain biking, gravel biking, or anywhere where you might be wearing a pack, or... Uh, you know, wearing a uh, waist pack or a backpack, then obviously it works great. And it's kind of active leather, active leisure wear looking enough to work just as a general sort of active uh, top as well. So you could go running in it, walking, even go downtown if you wanted it, you know. It's got a bit of reflective detailing, but it's not going to light you up like a lollipop, man. So. I think this weighs in over 400 grams for the jacket, so... You're gonna need a bit of storage space, but the way it works, the fact it's just so kind of self-adjustable to the climate, for want of a better phrase, means you'll probably be happy keeping it on all day, even through quite changeable weather. I've certainly been on some really, really <laughs> random weather rides and all the way through, with just a little bit of moving that zip up and down, it's actually stayed super comfortable, whether it's been battering down with rain or I've been putting the hammer down up climbs and, and I'll show it in a minute once I've gone through this gate there's another nice feature talking about the zip just reminded me if you look at the base of the jacket you can see while it's got a double uh, guard on it most of the way up at the bottom there the zips exposed to make it really easy to join up Again, just little touches. There's some really nice little touches throughout. 
uh, that, you know, like I say, just makes it a really, really versatile all-round riding jacket as long as you're prepared to reach around the back and not find any pockets. But, you know, more and more cargo tights coming out now. Uh, these Giro uh, Chrono Experts I've got on. They've got pockets underneath. And so, you know, the storage is coming from other places than just a traditional jersey. And the other thing, while the pricing is certainly pretty steep at 199 99 at the moment, it's actually 50 quid off compared to the normal RRP currently. And for Neo Shell, that's a really, really good price too. So, uh, yeah, a bit of an all-round win. Oh, and the other thing, just really nice, really... Can't believe I've left it till last, because it's really important. It doesn't have any other kind of clamminess or cling, or just that unpleasant kind of, it feels cold before you've even got wet or cold, that you'll often get with a hard shell jacket. It's very, very soft shell-like in feel, which is a massive comfort bonus, especially if you're wearing it with like a short sleeve layer underneath or just a very thin base layer. It really helps it. Once you've, once you've built up to sort of operating temperature and everything's leveled out, it really helps it stay comfy in a wide range of weathers rather than that horrible kind of uh, too hot or too cold and clammy roller coaster you get with most waterproof jackets. So while it is expensive, I reckon it's a very, very fair price to pay for this kind of performance. I'd certainly push people towards well, this kind of shell or or a semi-waterproof soft shell, rather than a full waterproof in most cases. So, obviously, you know, Eurocycling sponsors the channel, uh, so you'll be seeing me in this jacket a lot anyway, but that's uh, currently looking like absolutely no problem. Looks like a great way to spend the winter, autumn and spring ahead. I always feel really self-conscious when I say, this is dead good, this top. Uh, but, and they're sponsoring my channel because it's hard to maintain uh, a sense of honesty but I really think anyone who tries this jacket is going to come to the same conclusions as I am so you're just going to have to believe me on this one uh, thanks to Jiro for getting behind the channel thanks to PTs and Crud as well thanks to uh, my Patreon supporters for pledging on a monthly basis which helps me produce these edits and uh, <coughs> they get extended exclusive behind the scenes and ad free edits as a thank you so if you really like what i'm doing with the channel give it a subscribe on patreon but subscribe on youtube anyway click for notifications give it a like give it a thumbs up tell your mates about it and just generally share the word and if you've got any questions get busy in the comments because apparently youtube likes a bit of chat under a video as well and uh, be really good to get the channel growing again Seems to put me in a bit of a nursing home, algorithm-wise, and we're ticking over, but I'm putting out a lot of content to try and uh, jack things up a bit, so if you get up with that, we'll all be happy. But for now, I've been Guy Kestivan on Guy Case TV, talking about the rather splendid, if expensive, Giro Chrono Pro Neo Shell jacket. Thank you very much.